Welcome back everyone. Well, an absolute scorcher out there today. Heat advisory just expired as of six o'clock this evening, but it'll likely be back tomorrow. A few more afternoon showers throughout our Sunday possible, and then next week's forecast certainly looking like late July. More on that in just a bit, but first let's set the stage with the upper level pattern. High pressure, large and in charge, and that coupled with some Saharan dust out there today helped to knock down those rain chances. Now this high will kind of break down a little bit and move a little bit farther in to Texas throughout the day tomorrow, opening up the door for a few more showers to try to develop tomorrow afternoon, but nothing on the radar today. All is quiet with mostly sunny skies across Acadiana and as expected, all the shower and thunderstorm activity setting up more so into southeastern Louisiana and then as you get into Mississippi. But the big story today, of course, was the heat temperatures getting well into the middle 90s, even upper 90s uh, reported there in Opelousas where it's still 97 degrees, 92 out towards Jennings, 93 in Abbeville and 91 degrees is the current temperature here in Lafayette. So a steamy evening indeed with those dew points sitting in the upper 70s. That's still giving us a feels like temperature in the lower 100. So still want to practice those heat precautions even through the evening time frame. Warm and muggy overnight tonight. We'll be starting out Sunday in the middle to upper 70s and then a mixture of sun and clouds out there on our Sunday with still a little bit of haze in the sky as well from that Saharan dust. And again, a few more isolated showers and thunder showers trying to develop tomorrow afternoon into early tomorrow evening as there'll be a little bit more moisture and instability around tomorrow and some locally heavy downpours could be possible where those showers do decide to set up. But otherwise, regardless, staying hot and humid temperatures getting well into the middle 90s quiet after midnight tomorrow. And as we head into our Monday, similar story after another start in the upper 70s, sun and cloud mix out there through the course of Monday afternoon with a few pop up showers and storms trying to get going with the heating of the day. Rain chances will sit at around 30%. Meanwhile, out in the tropics, we still have our area of low pressure, but can you see it here on the enhanced satellite imagery? Not really. It's lacking a good amount of uh, shower and thunderstorm activity today, but the broad area of low pressure sitting just off the Florida coastline and Hurricane Center continues to bump up chances a little bit now, giving it about a 60% chance to develop in the next two to five days, but models continue to not really do a whole lot with it, and they split on where the moisture associated with it may end up. Some take it more so out into the Atlantic. Others try to sneak some of it into the Gulf of Mexico, where if that did happen, it would perhaps increase our rain chances a little bit for the mid and latter part of the upcoming week, but nothing to be overly worried about at this point. And the rest of the tropical Atlantic quiet at this time with no new developments expected at least through the next five days. In the short term, of course, the heat continuing to be the big story that feels like temperature or heat index out there tomorrow afternoon right back in the lower 100s anywhere from around 102 to 108 degrees will be possible. And then similar story as we head into your Monday afternoon. So continue to practice those heat precaution techniques, drinking plenty of water and taking frequent breaks if you got to be outside for an extended period of time. So almost a full buck moon out there tonight. Fair to mostly clear skies will hopefully allow us to see it, but there's still be a little haze in the sky as well. Warm and muggy mid to upper 70s by tomorrow morning. Hot, humid and steamy out there for your Sunday. Heat index 105 plus for most spots with a few cooling afternoon showers for the lucky few. Rain chances sitting at around 30%. Next 10 days as we head into late July for the upcoming work week, it's going to be looking and feeling like it with temperatures in the lower 90s. Rain chances eventually getting to the 40 to 50% range there by midweek. Victor?